हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो यू विल फाइंड कैथोड रेज एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फर्स्ट अबाउट कैथोड रेज इन वेरी ब्रीफ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू देन अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन 1832 टू 33 माइकल फरेडे अ साइंटिस्ट माइकल फरेडे 1833 थर्टी थ्री थर्टी टू माइकल फेरेडे अ साइंटिस्ट माइकल फेरेडे बाय हिज एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस शोड दैट there are some electrically charged particles flow through the solution hence material has some electrical property electrical property of matter was given by michael faraday and the next point i am telling you in very brief in higher class again you will come to know in detail about these things i will tell you in next video you will find now next is about uh, these discrete particles of electricity charged particles responsible for flow of current the name was given by a scientist in 1874 1874 given by the scientist g j stony electrons the name of the discrete particles of these electricity electrically charged particle the name was given electron by stony and after that very important point cathode rays the first discoverer of cathode rays first discoverer of cathode rays 1859 first discoverer julius plucker julius plucker first discover after that there was a apparatus devised by william crookes who devised the apparatus william crookes william crookes devised the apparatus william crookes devised an apparatus the name of apparatus was cathode ray tube or discharge tube discharge tube or cathode ray tube 1978 now very important thing i am going to tell you and this what is discharge tube discharge tube is actually a cylindrical hard glass tube provided with two metal plates at on both the ends metal plate of one end is connected with the negative terminal of dc power source battery which is called cathode and the metal plate on the next end of the discharge tube is connected to the positive terminal of dc power source battery is called anode this tube is also provided with a side tube through which by using vacuum pump gas or air from inside of the tube can be pumped out and pressure can be lowered that is called discharge tube let us see it's just picture also this is a discharge about 50 cm long about 50 cm long this discharge tube and in this tube there is a metal plate like this connected with here dc power source this is a minus plate and here another one is sealed here this is a 
कि दिस इज कैथोड कैथोड एंड दिस वन वॉज कॉल्ड ए नोट देर वॉज ए वाइकुम पंप वाइकुम पंप वॉज हियर इट गोज टू वाइक्यूम पंप वाइक्यूम पंप टू इवेक्ट द गैस प्रेजेंट इन इट टू प्रोड्यूस वाइक्यूम एंड दिस इज डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब नाउ इन दिस कैथोड रेज ट्रेवल फ्रॉम कैथोड टू ए नोड लाइक दैट दीज आर कैथोड रेज now first point in this things the most important one is first is when pressure of the gas in the discharge tube was 1 atmosphere then air present in the discharge tube gas present in the discharge tube does not allow electricity to flow there was no flow of electricity at one atmosphere pressure even on applying a high voltage of 10000 volt between the electrodes gas inside the tube does not allow electricity to flow second point when the pressure inside the discharge tube was lowered by pumping out the air or gas from the discharge tube the pressure was lowered to 10 to the raised power minus 2 atmosphere 10 to the raised power minus 2 atmosphere then electricity begins to flow through the gas in the discharge tube and light was emitted color of light depend on the nature of the gas taken in the discharge tube like when neon gas is taken then the color was orange red or red red air was there purple color like that color was depend found to depend on the nature of the gas taken in the discharge tube when pressure was reduced to 10 to the raised power minus 4 atmosphere to 10 to the raised power minus 5 atmosphere then emission of light by the residual gas in the discharge tube stops but the wall of the discharge tube opposite to cathode was still glowing the region was certain some rays emitted from cathode side cathode and striking the wall of the discharge tube creating the faint greenish light glow there on discharge tube these rays produced at cathode and traveling towards a node in the discharge tube at 10000 volts of potential and this very low pressure transfer minus 2 atmosphere are called cathode rays let us see properties of cathode rays properties of cathode rays first properties of cathode rays first property cathode rays emit mechanical pressure but before that here first see let us first point cathode rays travel in a straight line cathode rays travel in a straight line it was proved by the fact that when an opaque object or solid material object is placed in their path they cast a shadow remember this point second point is cathode rays exert mechanical pressure cathode rays exert mechanical pressure 
इट वॉज प्रूव बाई द फैक्ट इफ ए लाइट पैडल व्हील वॉज प्लेस्ड हियर ए लाइट पैडल व्हील ए लाइट पैडल व्हील वॉज प्लेस्ड हियर दे सेट इट इन टू मोशन वेन दीज रेज स्ट्राइकिंग द ब्लेड वैन ऑफ द पैडल व्हील पैडल व्हील स्टार्टेड मूविंग लाइट पैडल व्हील देन इट वॉज प्रूविंग दैट कैथ थोड रेज हैज काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड दे एग्जैक्ट मैकेनिकल प्रेशर हेम्स दे देर कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट पार्टिकल्स आर मटेरियल पार्टिकल्स दे है दीज पार्टिकल्स हैव मास दैट वॉज फ्रॉम सेकेंड एक्सपेरिमेंट थर्ड थर्ड पॉइंट कैथोड रेज प्रोड्यूस फ्लोरिसेंस वेन on striking with the fluorescent material here they produce fluorescence fluorescence means flash of light on striking the substances like zinc sulfide uh, like that now next point is number 4 cathode rays were found to produce x rays on striking the hard heavier metal surface metals of large atomic mass heavier metals surface on striking they produce x rays next point cathode rays ionize the gas through which they pass the gas present anywhere in the discharge tube cathode gas passes through it then it ionize the gas particles through which it pass now next cathode rays affect the photographic plate like ordinary light it affect the photographic plate and next point is cathode rays produce chemical effect they have reducing effect then Elect they are negatively charged particles are present. They have reducing effect. Cathode rays are next point. Cathode rays are the stream of negatively charged particles. It was proved by the fact that when they were passed through electric field, they bent towards the positive plate. One example. Suppose here, when cathode rays were passed. Through the electric field, then they bent towards the. This is a negative plate. This is a positive plate. Then these cathode rays bent towards the positive plate. It proves that cathode rays are the. Cathode rays are the stream of negatively charged particle. and when they are passed through magnetic field then they deflect they deviate towards the north pole they deviate towards the north pole of the mag here north pole and going away from the south pole hence these are the stream of negatively charged particle next point charge to mass ratio of cathode rays charge to mass ratio of cathode rays e by m ratio charge to mass ratio of cathode rays was determined by sir j j thomson in 1897 1.7588 coulomb per gram this value charge to mass ratio of the constituent particle of cathode ray remains constant it does not depend on the nature of the gas and material of the glass tube it proves that electrons are the universal component essential constituent particles of all matter of all atoms these are the properties of cathode rays now let us let us see properties of electrons about the properties of electrons here first
प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फर्स्ट अबाउट साइज आर रेडियस और यू कैन से साइज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज 2.7 पॉइंट सेवन इंटू टेन टू द रेस पावर माइनस फिफ्टीन मीटर अप्रॉक्सीमेट इट वॉज कैलकुलेटेड द एक्सट्रीमली स्मॉल पार्टिकल नंबर टू इट्स चार्ज रिलेटिव चार्ज रिलेटिव चार्ज ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट वॉज माइनस वन यूनिट चार्ज ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉन अपसोल्यूट चार्ज माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो टू इंटू टेन टू द रेस पावर माइनस नाइनटीन कुलम चार्ज ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन वॉज डिटरमाइंड बाई द साइंटिस्ट रॉबर्ट मिलिकन रॉबर्ट मिलिकन डिटरमाइंड दिस चार्ज इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड नाइन रॉबर्ट मिलिकन बाई हिज ऑयल ड्रॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑयल ड्रॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट then millikan determined this charge on electron by his oil drop experiment it was found this coulomb and he also observed this charge on an electron this value of charge is the smallest charge this is why it was taken as unit of charge unit of charge of electron is taken as unit of charge it means the charge of an electron is one unit of negative charge smallest negative charge this is smallest negative charge unit of charge and what does it mean the charge on an electron is one unit of negative charge like that and written here minus 1 and this is its value any particle can carry this charge now next is नंबर फोर मास मास ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज वन बाई एटीन हंड्रेड थर्टी सेवन ऑफ एन आइटम मास ऑफ एन आइटम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एन आइटम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन This is equal to nine point one one into ten to the raise power minus twenty eight gram. Mass of electron is very small. Its value is this. This is equal to approximate one by eighteen hundred thirty seven of the mass of one atom of hydrogen. Now, who discovered electron? Sir J J Thomson. Sir J J Thomson. discovered electron location location extra nuclear part outside the nucleus outside the nucleus where are electrons found in the atom electrons are found in the atom outside the nucleus in the extra nuclear part of the atom this is about cathode rays and electrons that's all for today again next day i will tell you next part of this topic and thank you